In section 5.5.21, we want to find the value of the combination. So the combination has the letter C. And so the definition states that the number of arrangements of R objects chosen from N objects in which the N objects are distinct, an object, once an object is used, it cannot be repeated, and order is not important. So we have n factorial time divided by r factorial times n minus factorial. Now, if you notice from the previous uh, example, for the permutation has a, a different formula. Okay, now again, the key part here is that order is not important. For a permutation, order is important. Okay, so now we're going to use the formula to find the value of the combination. And again, we're going to begin by substituting the correct numbers. So if you notice at the top here, we know that n represents 13, and we know that r represents 9. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and substitute those numbers into the formula. So now we're going to end up getting 13 factorial, which is n here, divided by 9 factorial times 13 minus 9 factorial. Now again, we're going to use order of operations. So the first thing we're going to do is then take 13 and subtract 9, which gives us 4. So now we have 13 factorial divided by 9 factorial times 4 factorial. Now, if you notice here, again, we want to be able to find, okay, and go as far as we can to be able to then uh, simplify. So we know that since we have 9 factorial in our denominator, and that's larger than 4 factorial, and we know that there's 9 factorial within 13 factorial, then we can stop at 9 factorial. So... This should have that symbol here, which is your 9 factorial. Okay, so here we have 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 factorial divided by 9 factorial. And then we're going to expand the 4 factorial to be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And so what happens here is then we can simplify the 9 factorials because that becomes 1. Now, if we go a little further, okay, you can see that uh, 2 goes into 10 five times. Okay, and then we can also see that 4 times 3 is actually 12. And so if we multiply the numbers 13 times 11 times 5, well then that's going to give you the final result, which is 715. Okay. And again, that, all of that is being divided by 1 because everything in the denominator had simplified to 1. Now, if we want to be able to do this on a calculator, let's go ahead and pull that up here. So again, in order to find the combination, we can go ahead and select math. We're going to scroll to the right where you see PRB, which represents probability. Now, if you go down to number 3, you can see that we have C, which represents the combination. Now, if we want to go ahead and calculate this, we're going to go to our clear screen, so we're going to hit second and then clear. And then now what we're going to do is, since the n number is on the right-hand side, we're going to start with that number, which is 13. And then we're going to go back to math and then scroll to the right to where we see probability. And then go down to number 3 and then select the combination. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter. And then the number on the right is 9. And once we have that all in the correct order, we're going to press enter and we get the same result, which is 715.